Wait, y'all. So how many times are we going to keep having this battle every time a new product hits the streets, especially from celebrities? When they drop products, either you're going to buy them or you're not. Being concerned about whether they have hair on their head or whether they use the product or whatever. That's such a strange argument when you can just say, nah, I'm good and just keep it moving. We all know that the majority of the products that you see in big name stores are not black owned. They're allegedly black ran behind the scenes, but that remains to be seen. I don't know. But again, I tell you all all the time when I make these types of videos, if you are concerned with who and where your products are coming from, you need to go directly to the source. The source being a black salon owner that makes her own products in-house. That's how you support a black owned business. And you know for sure that is exactly where your money is going. When you go to these big name stores, you don't know where your money is going. Now, being as though Fenty has morphed into a beauty brand, Fenty hair was the next logical step. Rihanna has been a trendsetter in hair, makeup, and fashion since she kind of like stepped on the scene. So, I'm not understanding all the confusion in the ranting and raving about her creating a hair care product because she only has two morsels of hair. A lot of you girls go and sit in hair salons and let women do your hair that don't even have edges. Yet, you trust them to put a wig on your head that's going to snatch your edges out as well. But you sit in their chair, quiet and happy. And again, you leave quiet and happy. So what is the problem? When did y'all start having an issue with people being bald headed? What that's basically saying is, if you're bald headed, you shouldn't be touching anybody else's hair or having anything to do with it. That's basically what y'all are saying. And it's a contradiction, literally. But just a bit of information, one of Rihanna's longtime stylists, Ursula Steven, who has a salon in Brooklyn, New York, she is a part of the product line, the product development, and she is literally an icon in the beauty industry. You might want to look her up if you don't know who she is. But Rihanna has been hands-on and extremely professional, I feel like, in regards to the beauty industry. Because, like I said in a previous short, this has been two years in the making. So she obviously has had time to test these products, develop them, see if what changes needed to be made to them before she brought them to the public. Now, because I've been in the beauty industry for years... I've been following this. I've followed these people and product development and all of that stuff. So I'm a little bit more familiar with what goes on behind the scenes and the development of beauty products. So if you don't like celebrities selling you hair care products or whatever, just say that because from a business and a professional standpoint, what more do the people want? And y'all actually use products on a daily or consistent basis that are not black owned and they're actually ruining your hair. And y'all taking it easy with that. So, eh, I don't know. It's y'all on shaky ground with this. And in regards to money grabs, when celebrities do certain lines and products, right? Fenty has been around for quite a bit at this point. So it is more than likely that Fenty hair will remain on the market. Whereas some of these other products that you see being done by other celebrities, you probably won't see them in two years or so. So let's see which of these celebrity products are still around in five years.